Oh, no. The moment of truth. Physio Jack oh, Walton can it's still pinch one. more than an inch. Ow. It's good news, though. I've lost four and a half kilos in body fat since I started training. Point your toes this way. That's it. Jack recommends okay. this stretch for That's Sunday morning. If you were by yourself, you could basically hook kind of a yoga rope or a towel around the bottom there, hold it into your hands, actively lift up with your leg and then start to pull that through and then back down. Repeat that eight times. We can then start putting on a little bit more pressure. Now it's Jack's turn to be a guinea pig as colleagues prepare to massage hundreds of runners in the St Oswald's hospice tent at the end of the race. Well, you sat waiting for the masseuses because um, I would think they'd be very busy that day. Um, if you've got to wait 10 minutes or so, just sit yourself down and just do this gentle rubbing of the calf muscles just up towards the heart and that helps disperse the lactic acid. You can then move on up to the hamstrings and the quad doing the same action, just moving all the way up the leg and make sure you're always working towards the heart. That's the key thing. So what are the final preparations to make before Sunday? You really shouldn't change anything too drastic. Please don't change what you're doing with your diet, but please also don't heavily overload on the carbohydrates, change the protein, do anything sort of weird and wonderful. Whatever has been your mainstay for your, for your eating habits, keep that the same in the build-up into the run. Also make sure that you're drinking at least two litres of water a day. That's absolutely essential. And make sure you get a very good night's sleep and then you'll be running like the wind. What should someone do if they entered in good faith, they've got their running number, but they just haven't had the time to put the training in? Can they wing it on the day? You can wing it on the day. It's obviously not what we advise as you know, sports scientists. We wouldn't advise that. You can wing it on the day, but just really plod it, really go steady, walk you know, and, and staccato it. So you do a bit of walking, a bit of running, you know, a bit of walking, a bit of running. I certainly wouldn't be trying to you know, do three miles off the sprint and then expect to get to South Shields you know, in anything. You, know, you might well be on your knees.